hungry for it. It's almost always one of the best ones we got. Definitely. I see my man rocking a Monday Night Carnage shirt. Mm -hmm. I think the heads up. Chat, they are for sale. 20 bucks. 20 Get bucks? a clean shirt. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Support your local peoples. Uh, definitely. I definitely. Picked up. You picked one up? Picked mine up. Oh, let's go. All right, looking like we're sticking with what I kind of expected their go-tos. Oh, yep. We're losing signal. Sorry, technical difficulties. It happens, it happens. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to go. Right, right. I'll be right back. You return. All right, all right. Hopping into doubles grand finals. And immediately blue team's like, yep, we're the zoners. We're going to sit back. Bomb the grenade doing a 35 to spot instantly. Now we go over command with that grab, finding himself off stage. Yo, yo, yo. The fun thing about, like, this matchup in particular, like, especially for doubles, is, like, Snake and Steve both kind of want to set up their zones, control spaces, get their tools and what they want. But you've got Mario, who is a pretty solid zone breaker just from his movement and his options and you've got a zone of your own with a projectile that has to be respected in charge shot so you got the rush down character and the one also just throwing things out yep. covering options so i can see how it could be difficult for them to like wanted to set up take their time with it yep. blue can, yep. for every little that blue wants to set up shop red can be like yo we can send people in and we can shoot stuff at you we can do both <laughs> we're down for either one and i forget i forget mario has that uh fireball yep. it's it's a pretty good uh, projectile. It goes well with his kit. He can follow up off it real well. Oh, great awareness on spot to cover up that punish from Dre that he's going for. And then immediately just, nope, doing it again. Cover you, punish your punish. Oh, these guys are really good. They're both, like, keeping it even. They're they're clashing right now. They're well aware of, like, each other's game plans, how far to commit for stuff, how, like, where to go. Like, so we're seeing a lot of similar, like, positioning and plays of, like, hey, you're trying to do a thing on my teammate? I'm here to punish you. And it's like, hey, I know you're going to do that. I'm here to punish you. Yeah. Did that shield poke? His shield was low. I don't uh, know if he dropped it. I think it, it did actually poked. shield poke. Not throw up there. Because he was holding on to shield pretty solidly. Oh, yep. so Ooh, right right on the cart. I know. You don't really see that often. They usually just ride it once and then yep. that's it. He's got a ton of resources, so he can afford to kind of go ham on a couple of these in options. And we're seeing that there. Spot's like not going back. He's got all the tools he needs. Oh, block to protect him. But oh, catching that from the mine cart. Oh, that, that block not working in his favor. <laughs> nope. Trying to clank with the anvil up smash so he avoids the strong hit. They can't close out this weapon stock. He refuses to die. Over commits with the grab. Holds shield. Drops it just in time for charge shot. Weapon is really good at that mix up. He likes his like any charge shot that you can hold and then just press B to shoot like as its own mix up of okay go ahead do a thing. I can just press a button and do a ton of damage. So it's something you have to constantly watch for. Trouble, Raise your hand. Nope. They up to, to follow up after that hit. That finally did. Oh, wait, no, not the stock. He's living. I know, I thought it did. That up tilt's busted. How do you live? <laughs> Dash attack, get the up B. Oh, he, he missed the follow up. And instead, weapon going for his own off the top, gets his teammate in the process, collateral. I feel like right now they're at a really good spot though unfortunate but they're still they're still good yeah like blue can definitely bring this back with enough damage but if they don't finish their food and take that weapon stock right there yeah. like any chance of elite is gone because weapon can go ham and even right now this is an uphill battle yeah. they just got to rack up damage right now yeah and make sure they don't lose a stock yeah once it's that 2v1 oh, just like that spot over commits <laughs> with the up smash 2v1 with two low percent this is not looking hot because now they can both wait for you to overcommit. you have so much more work to do so even right there, jab one into the charge shot. He could have done like something else, but nope. Go for the safe option, the thing that gives me control of the game still. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That could like... <laughs> yep, that's the grab. Oh. Up smash through the grab. That'll get him. Red taking the first game. Good stuff, good stuff. Weapon Raid and Dre just dominating this match. Honestly, it looked really good in their favor. Like, it looked a little rough for them to get their footing at first, but like, like as time went on... Like, even after Spot had his resources and got what he wanted, they, like, prioritized not letting r Dog set anything up. They were really good at, like, making Snake not get anything too started, and then just playing around Steve. Because, yeah, Steve's scary when he's got his tools and he's got stuff going on, but Steve's just one dude. 
Mm. And he's not the fastest dude. So you just watch for minecarts, watch this guy for anvils, mm. and hit him when he gets too close. And it's like, yeah, he can't really do a whole lot, even with all the stuff he's got. It, d- it did feel like they were uh, kind of ganging up on uh, our dog, the snake. Yep. And that's definitely an advantage you can have for this team, because out of all of these characters, Snake, like, as weird as it is, has a really awkward disadvantage. He has to, like, go high, he has to try to, like, land with grenades and stuff. And it's different, but you can punish it. And because of that, like, if Red's in the right spots, that can be huge for them, like, exploiting a weakness in the team. Huh? I'm supposed to play right now? Oh, yeah, single started, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. Soul game! All right, later chat. Go get him, sir. I'll hold down the fort. All right. Looking back at their footing. Who's got weapon off stage? Got Nikita out. Mortar C4. But the platform came just in time to give him a place to land so he didn't have to fall on Snake. But the back air finally catches it. Even if you're there, you're still in the corner. Blue's getting the first stocks this time. Spot kind of content to hide in the corner, waiting for Great Overcommit. Finds his way back to stage, gets some resources. Heavy Snake, he's not dead just yet. Yeah, this is Doubles Grains. The Great is not going to block that charge shot there when it's in your hand. Minecart blocking that one though, so Steve's living with plenty of resources. Nope, he's not going to kill just yet. Oh, catches the air dodge there from Dre on uh, our dog. Like, that's the thing about Snake, Snake disadvantage. He kind of just drops like a rock, he doesn't have air mobility. It's a mix up of like, oh, is he on grenade? He's going to air dodge. You get the right read, that's furthering your advantage. You can get the reset super easily. We're up and doing the upbeat to get out of that situation. Even if it doesn't hit, you got him out of there because Spot was committed to hitting Dre. Finally getting stuck there, too. Ooh, weapon barely missing the pass off from Dre. That could have been a very early stock and would have been a heck of a way to get this game back in his order. Back throws him, has to kind of just eat the anvil. That's what he's got to accept. Up there and up B. Follow up from his partner's ladder. Very early stock on spot. Nikita's does not kill him yet, and platform there to reset his jumps, so weapon can take his time, really get around. Play around spot's ledge, spot over committing with the F smash. Oh, but the minecart hits him away. He's not dead yet. These people are living to high percents. These are heavy bounty hunters. And then he just drops like a rock in his ledge. Probably was holding down or something. That team's looking a little worse for wear even after their big plays. Dre's kind of taking a beating. But he finally closes out that stock on our dog. Instead, this is a scary situation. You're a very high percent Mario. And this also means Weapon has to be careful about his charge shots. He lets those lose a little too haphazardly. And just like that, that's all it takes for a. That's all it takes for like a stock to go away. Had a screen go by and fast. I, I couldn't see. Spot's trying to start up his combos. He gets the one hit like the reverse part of Nair, and then doesn't follow up because he's he's draining there. I love that the avoidance of commitment, recognizing the situation he's in. Both of them are playing like really like patiently and respectfully trying to find their opening. And then Nardog's the one to find the first opening with that up tilt. Looking at the 2v1 again. This is a rough situation for Weapon. Can get himself a little bit charge shot using the platforms for safety. Stops him from getting his diamond out. Goes off stage, but misses the edge guard. Now you're in the corner. Got the jump with Nardog covering the roll. Block into the back air there. Covers the platform going high. Was blocked as well. Our dog and spot gets a point on the board. I think that our dog and spot put a much better emphasis there on like cleaning up their play there. They watched some of their commitments and put a little more respect in and it worked out very well. The counter pick worked out pretty well in their favor too. The Animal Crossing stages are pretty nice for Steve because you can get a ton of wood and that lets you put platforms. But you don't get a ton of iron and also you're using your axe to mine. So that can be scary. Mm-hmm. So uh, that stage is okay. It gives him space to set up, but the materials he gets aren't the best. Not run to small battlefield. Hmm? What is it?
real ones are messing up the most time. Most seasons where you use his pickaxe, like, his kill option. But that seems where he usually gets high on the rest of his life, PS2. But ultimately, don't do battle here in the corner and he might be shot either. And that means he gets all his tools. Those are the ones, if, you, if your goal is to mess up this mining, that's what you do. Go to a stage where he doesn't dig with shovel. Because then he at least has to At the end of the day, he's gonna mine. He's gonna get resources. It's But if he has to use his tools during it too, that might give you a chance to get to the yeah, it's the question real quick. We're back just in time for our dog loses stock, but Spot trying to set up his uh, mining off stage, but Dre puts a quick stop to that. Just give him back here. Get him back in stage normally. Going real deep for it, perfectly recognizing the angle he's going to go for. Dre's kind of going hard. In the, the same moment that I was looking at, like, s that Spot's attempted recovery, I looked back and our dog is on 86 on the second stock. Oh, TNT explosion finally even the stocks out, but Hard Hot took a heck of a beating from Dre earlier, it looks like. Oh, from Weapon. Dre was the one going after Spot. Immediate grab, but not getting the follow up. Steve's a little too high percent. Catching the platform drop with the up smash, though. <laughs> Tried to comfortably help me again to get the stock on, on our dog, but nah. Cypher armor. You love him. He's really respecting Mario from from behind, like, nah, you've got up smashes, you've got back airs, you gotta watch it. That up smash though, the A2 over committal spot, do that up smash, that's gonna be the stock. Down air finally taking that stock too. Steve in the corner, but minecarts through it, a little too late on that fair. Oop. Forces the grenade to pop in his hand. Get a little more percent. Another grenade pop. Up there, up there. Tries to go for fair, but minecart tanking it. Dre is looking for blood here. He wants that stock. Spot's got full resources. Walks up and gets the F smash. Knocks him away. He's going to try to get diamond. Nope. Dre knew very well. Like, nope, let me cover my teammate and let me stop Spot from getting diamonds. Crafting table being at that ledge is a very unfortunate situation. Spot hasn't had the time to update his tools. Luckily, he had a chance there, though. Because good old Lara taking the bullet for him. Like, literally, he stood there and ate the charge shot so that Spot wouldn't have to deal with it. Up hitting the grenade, though, Spot is at way too high a percent for comfort. And Red Team's got himself an extra stock to work with, with the weapon having been very tanky. Grab Smash finds its mark. And we're looking at a 2v1 in a worse situation this time. We're passing off the 2v1s here, but each one is getting more and more, like, in the other team's favor. The uh, second hit of F tilt, pretty high, or maybe passing an option too fast, but he loses that stock. But again, not a whole lot there. Like right there, flood. That was a perfect play there, because what's Snake going to do out of Cypher? Yep, lands right into the up smash. Snake doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff he can do out of it. He kind of just has to fall. And Dre, of the people who have been playing today, like Dre, I think, has been very good at. And, like maximizing his advantage. He went off stage and got the hit on Elytra. He's been consistently getting pretty good punishes on Snake. Like compared to most of the teams we've seen today, he's like the one showing, yo, let's punish this weakness. Let's exploit this. And it's working great. And he's really maximizing his advantage as well just for other uh, stuff. It's working out really well. Singles is starting in full swing. Gotten a couple of the round one matches going. And we'll put up some good single stuff after this is done, I assume. Because most of some of our best singles players are sitting here right here in doubles grants. As it goes. I don't assume we'll see a character switch. I think we'll get, stick to the normal ones. Snake is working, so I don't think we'll see Ridley. And then Mars is working. I don't think we'll see any of Dre's counter picks. Then... And Spot and Weapon kind of stick to their characters. I know Spot has a handful of other ones. Uh, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grenade hit him out of that up, he getting an extra percent. Oh, he lost his jump somewhere in the middle of that. So he just kind of sank like a rock. That's a really early stock for Dre. That's not a good spot for him to be in. Even with the punches we've been getting on Snake, it's not working out too hot. Oh, got his jump.
A full Steve combo, 40%. He tried to go for the round fair, get the spike in the early start, but the immediate up, he just now back away. Get him back to ledge. Samus ledge trapping low, welcome's very good. Getting the bombs out. Our dog doesn't really want to commit to saving or helping out his partner there. He kind of just held grenade, held mid stage. He doesn't want to rush in anything too bad because he's worried about that damage. Got the down throw and tries to read the roll in, but nope, rolls back out. He's out of his up tilts. He needs some new tools. Spot has been sitting here fighting with wood. This is a whole dang game right now. Finally loses the stock. This gives him a chance to get new tools, but he runs in to save his teammate. Prioritizing his teammate over his own upgrades. Still haven't taken that stock off him yet. That team is nothing if they aren't resilient. They are holding on to these stocks as hard as they can. And, like, Blue's got to get those out of the way. Every little bit you're not finishing that stock gives them a chance to start some crazy combo stuff up. Because again, every time I'm looking at these percents, it starts off and it looks like Blue is doing okay. Like, oh, they're back, but they're low on, like, they got stocks there. And the next thing I know, our dog's like dead. Like, I look away and then I look back and he's at like 90. And it's like, what the heck? Finally got some stocks out, but spots a little hurt. And based on how this is going, our dog's out watch himself too. Both these characters will just start comboing him like you won't believe. Those guys, just I'm saying it. Spot losing it. Red team's kind of just been running the show. Blue hasn't really gotten any of their combo stuff started, and they just sit there and get comboed. They might break out the combo, or like might break out something. But red team has been very good and proficient at like, hey, I'm seeing what's happening. Stop it. Like the interference from each other is working great. Like, where Blue might threaten to interfere, Red's interference is working successfully, and that makes a big difference. You have Smash taking Dre's final stock, but nope, passing back in. Blue's cleaning up their play a bit. For every little bit there that I was just going off on, Blue's kind of like, oh, let's snap ourselves back in. But Blue, weapon taking it over from his partner's book. I know Sneak's weakness. Let me go all the way up there after him. What are you going to do about it? Oh, he takes the bullet for spot. Spot's got to get some resources. He doesn't have any gold, but he's got some iron, so he still has a cart and an anvil, but that, that's not quite enough. And his tools aren't looking too hot either. Surviving the follow-up from the ladder. And he's sitting on wood tools as well. That's not exactly beneficial. The ability to get a rock kill is not there. The follow-up from the FBC and the jump up high. Drain weapon, get the reset. 3-1. I think that they got their heads together a lot better. Like, Blue... It feels like Blue has moments of being on, and Red is just on. Like, where every bit of Blue is way more consistent... Or the other way. Like, where every bit where Blue is doing something well, where they get the right interference or start their combo well... Like, where, like Spot gets a Steve combo, or our dog gets some good percent, or gets an edge guard. For every bit that that happens, Red is getting a follow-up off of each other's ladder or is getting a thing that saves them from the other person's combo, or is getting an edge guard, and it's like, they're doing all you're doing and more. So our dog and Spot have to kind of clean themselves up a little bit. They can definitely still do it. Like, it's definitely not in doubt. They've shown they play hot, but they gotta work that out. On top of that, I'd like to see Spot be a little more, like, protective of his teammate. Our dog has been getting bullied for a disadvantage way too hard. And I know Steve can't do a ton about it, but he's got to find some way to put some extra pressure on them. Because they're taking way too consistent of stocks on our dog, or just doing way too much percent to him, and it's not working out for them. Spot's got Samus Eye off stage, but saving the jump. Weapon's not done yet. Get the up smash off the roll in there. Oh, getting the up here into the spike! Spot was sitting there on that stage doing a great job, getting all that damage on weapon, only to be the first one to lose the stock. Like, that's what I'm talking about. For every little bit Blue does well, like, Red's like, nah, we'll show you. Taking that stock off with C4, but it's not huge. It constantly feels like every time Red makes a play, Blue's, like, trying to do a pickup. They gotta be the ones to play first. Red's swinging for the hills. They know they got the lead. Dash attack to get him off stage. Blue's got him in the corner. Parrying the charge shot. Goes to the up tilt. The up beat stops it though. No punish. Or rather punishing it. Okay. 
Both teams are kind of like just trading turns, going to ledge. It's like, all right, who's in the corner now? And it looks like this time the winners are red. They've got a complete stock lead from each character. Avoiding the charge shot, but getting the down throw combo started. Grenades out of Dre's combo, but all oh, hands right on the C4, and with the commitment to flood, all he's got to do is press a button. Even up the stock. Oh, dang, Dre was just like waiting in that spot, waiting for his bot to press a button. And just though, meet a fist. Worked out very well for him. They've got a solid two stock lead now. Almost a three stock lead. That strong back here almost taking that stock from Arnog. And then as he's doing this, he's going high. It's where he's got to go. Dre's already there. Spot's too busy with the edge guard and weapon to try to do anything to save his partner. It is working way too scary for this. Oh, get the charge. Nair to Nair. Try to go for the fair. He doesn't have any tools. Like, he doesn't got any iron. Yep, he just holds out. You have that minecart. He recognizes the situation he's in. The four stock comeback, it ain't there. Just brush it off. Accept the L. Take it into the next game. I respect that mindset a lot. Where it's like, nope, I don't want to focus too much energy on having to make this big of a comeback. I've got, I've got three, maybe four games left still. I can definitely bring this back. Wonder if we'll see a, if we'll see a stage switch again. We saw trips to town and city in a small battlefield. It seems to be the counter picks they enjoy still. I am wondering about why this is the blue team's counter picks, though. Because, again, does he like mine in the wood? Does he like the smaller side blast zones? I'll have to ask him. Because, just me personally, I don't know. <laughs> the game starts, and blue sets up their wall. And immediately Dre runs in with a, with a fair, just nope, here I come. And he meets 52% for it, even after landing the hit. Up there, up there, up there. Sour hit though, not taking the stock off spot just yet. Oh, pineapple, he was holding too far left. Dre went from going like really hard to just losing it there. He immediately tries to pay it back, but the real high ceiling of town and city. Snake's able to survive that. You gotta do way more effort to ladder combos. That probably is the reason they picked this as a counter pick. It gives way more survivability for these ladders. I can't tell, is there a C4 on Sam's? Okay, I thought I saw like a red light and I was like, is that the visor or her helmet or is the C4 stuck on her? <laughs> I was a little concerned for a second. You have to sit there and wait, try to wait out a throw, wait out something, avoid a big punish. Blue in the corner. Hard out going high, catches the up air. He's forced to cipher, he doesn't have any options. He lands with the grenade in the reverse C4. Dre's going after him. Up he's too early though. Cypher armor still active. He pops him back up. Down air. Tries to immediately up B. Spot getting a combo started. His partner has to take a lot of time to land. Catching the other person in the up smash though. Getting a ton of resources. Oh, the back air hit him as he was going for the down smash, so he has to eat the TNT percent. Weapon's doing a real good job dodging a lot of spots options there. He was avoiding the minecart, he was avoiding a lot of the setups. He doesn't want to take any extra percent. Blue's kind of picked up their plan a lot. This counter pick is working very well in their favor, because good gravy, our dog does not die. Oh dang, spot showing Dre some of his own medicine. Hit him with the offstage spike. Just like, yo, let me show you how it feels. Working out real well there. The immediate up to avoid the golden minecart. Hit him before he even starts hopping in. Got everyone just kind of swinging in the middle. Stock's going away. Way closer of a game now. <laughs> the up clicking with the up tilt, but he just goes for another up -y. Just immediately hit him back again. Avoiding the kill options, but not avoiding enough of them. Eventually Mario can just keep swinging. That back air will take that stock. Alright, weapons holding on to that stock for dear life, but blue team's got fairly healthy stocks going. Oh, the conversion off the charge shot, Dre's taking that damage. Oh, yep, eventually you gotta run in on, on Snake some point, you're gonna meet a foot. Top player souls back from his match. Oh, dang. Alright, here we go. 
Oh, dang! He caught him right as he went off stage. That was oh, oh, the bomb the saved. Bomb him. saved him. He went from an incredibly like luck, like really perfectly placed spike to saving him. I don't think he prepared the spike. Oh, spot missing his own spike. I was hoping that's not the reason why they lose this game. Oof. Oh, with yeah. Dre doing what Dre has been doing for most of the first set of this, like now, nah, bullying Snake in disadvantage. He's got a lot of work to do here. Oh. Up Who does that? <laughs> just well, like I mean, if your partner's covering you, exactly. I guess. Just you know, get in the corner. E. Well, Spot's got a ton of wood, but that's it. He doesn't have any iron, no gold. He can't do any carts. He can't do anything too fancy. He's forced to use wood. That's the downside of this counter pick. For every bit of good it did for that high ceiling and avoiding ladders, now he's using very poor resources. He's got one dirt. That's it. Yeah, and it's he not like he could. Uh, it's not like he could just rack it up right now. He got both people on him. Exactly. They're all over him. And luckily, he's got the percent built up. If he can get one of them off stage, he got some resources. He hit them away. <laughs> he's building his tools back. He's got gold. He's got iron. Oh, the oh. LP kills his teammate. Oh. oh wow. Whoa. Dre, MVP this game. So for those of you at home, I know gold mine cart's scary. I know it's the Wi-Fi move. I know it's the thing you go, I have to respect it. Definitely. The armor goes away at frame like 18 or 19. Oh, really? Gold minecart does not have any more armor than normal minecart. It has health armor that it and it can't take damage until like frame like 18. The only difference is that gold shoots forward, whereas normal is on the ground at first or like is real slow. Mm. So if you do enough percent, you can still hit gold minecart on the way in. Do you so know how much health it has? I think like. 18 or 17 percent so okay. you need a meaty hit yeah the problem with like when people challenge minecart is they either go too early and it doesn't take damage yet mm -hmm. or they do it with a weak move later and it just takes it because it has a lot of health mm -hmm. yeah but here nah up smash that'll do it wow Trey and weapon raid just completely adapting and just taking really control of this pace this match this definitely set. When they get back to the counter pick, they're kind of really relying on the avoiding ladder combos. Because it was a fairly close game up until the end. Like, I think the ability to survive these ladders gave them a lot more survivability than they wanted. And, like, Blue's confident they can clean up their combos and advantage to take stocks faster. But if they don't do that, I think Red has shown, like, no, we can play the long game. If you don't finish, our, if you don't finish your food, we will finish ours. <laughs> Definitely. Up there, up there, get Snake High. Up ease him, but thanks to the high town city, he's not dead yet. But he's got to land. Grenade saves him. Tries to up him immediately. Air dodges in. So the trap kind of shot, thank oh. Dang, he just went under the wall. He was trying to hide on the platform, but nah, Mario will just go right under you. You don't care. Yeah, Mario's a little sneaky like that. He was able to like really rush you down at times. Good read there on our X pilot. He got the down throw and was like, he's not going to roll in. That's where TNT is. I don't yeah. think he's going to roll out. He's going to get up attack. Parry's get up attack, up tilt, get the stock. That was a parry up tilt, right? Yep. So he was confident, like, no, he's going to get up attack. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to combo with that. Our dog. Yeah, he's not about it, but he went for the C4 in case he, like, air dodged in, I think. Oh, he rolls right through the pressure. Just the immediate roll in, too. Dre does that a lot. Like, his ledge option here against these characters especially who want to like set up traps he gets on ledge he like immediately rolls in mm, it is like right. his go-to like let me just get past your setup past your zone to closer to center stage i've got a teammate who can cover me i really don't like rolling in this game because it's like i feel like every time i roll it's always get caught yeah it's definitely like something that doesn't feel safe but like good players recognize like oh yeah let me just run in and do this like it's the perfect timing and it's the thing that like Dre uses very well here to avoid like the setups he's like nope let me just get in this space as fast as possible not even like taking the time to like sit at ledge or think just not do it snake's surviving the spike though they're trying to get early stocks at Arnhawk again and it's not working he's holding on this time all he's up there is catch the air dodge what's snake gonna do in disadvantage Open setup. Ram and boot I'm not sure I like Dre's play there because he was getting all the combos on Nardog. Nardog didn't have options. He was just air dodging. But after that, he dropped that advantage to go save his teammate. <laughs> and at the end of the day, the weapon still lost his stock, so was it worth it? Yeah, that's one of those things you just gotta you gotta make a choice, you know? Do, Either. do I capitalize on killing them, or do I, do I save my friend? Soft back air, not gonna be enough yet. Spot at ledge, time to get up perfectly to get hit by the charge shot. Great 
great preparation there from Weapon. C4 sitting at the ledge. Weapon kind of had to wait his time out. Grenades popping him up. Ooh, that looked like it was going to oh, hit both of them. This is a scary place to be for Red right now, because Dre's shield is gone. Oh, that's Gold Cart. That's a hard mash. Yeah, Not able to get the wall in time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, this is scary. Red is constantly just in the corner. Cut the jump out. Weapon's got to be careful. He's got to make a big play here. Or we'll just eat the gold card. Yep. He's like, I'm just going to throw it out. I mean, he had the tools for it. And the stock lead they had, he could get more. What do you think the, the counter pick stage is going to be? Hmm. <laughs> well, Snake can't hide in the house. It's too big. Hmm. Snake needs a smaller thing to hide in. If he built a whole house, Snake would be like, it's a house in the middle of nowhere. Everyone's going to know something's wrong. <laughs> so it's Snake's fault that Steve didn't get the lead. Exactly. Snake calls all the shots. Takes them all, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, it's fair. Yeah, Steve's about to move in. In town and city. Yeah. They're going to build a house and everything. They did small battlefield as a counter pick before. Oh, but that's a weird one, because that's like one of Steve's better stages. That's a thing you go if you want to hold in. Okay, PS2. Go back to big zone stuff. Good old reliable. Love this stage. Alright. See Red if, Bull, if you're watching, sponsor <laughs> me. <laughs> Pay this man. Yeah, top uh, player. Uh, Spot and our dog are poised to try to get their best to get their reverse 3-0 and the reset, but... uh. So they're gonna hard. have to run that momentum. It's gonna be hard. If if they want to win, it's gonna have they're gonna have to take this game. Like, well, not even just the whole matter of like the like that's what they need or else they just lose the set. They need to win this convincingly and ride that momentum. Because if they like tooth and nail fight this, you still give Red another chance to like okay clean ourselves up, get this win again. Mm, and definitely. you cannot give them that chance to adapt on you. Definitely, 100% agree. So, so the way they end this game, the way they handle this game, is going to be real good determiner if we if we do go to a game five. Yeah. Or if that game five will be anything even big. <laughs> Spot just kind of like building stuff there, and, and weapon raise is like I'm gonna smack you. Yep. You stop that. Catch him on the shield. Force him high. Red's been good at catching these snakes. Catch the snake. Force him up high again. Spot can't really pressure both of you. Dre misses the catch. Weapon oh. misses the catch. I was going to point that out because I feel like, I think you were mentioning that uh, Snake's disadvantage is really weird where he has to recover high, he has to go on yep. weird angles. When Snake does that, they should prioritize on the other uh, 2v1. They should prioritize on the 2v1. Because you could see that the Mario went up there to chase him, but I don't think that was the right call because they could have been. They could have taken that time to do the two v one. Even finished it with the up B, and it didn't even connect. Yeah. It was nowhere like, near connected. If it's not gonna work, like nowadays the adaptation they made is Red was catching a lot of those, but now they're not. Like Arlog's mixing up his disadvantage a lot better, and like Red's not getting the callouts they want. So I think that's a good play, actually. I think it would be smart of them to go. If I'm not confident in catching Arlog here and forcing him this high, that gives us time to go put Steve in a bad situation. Stop him from building. Put him off stage. Put him in a place where we can bully him. It's so like, yeah, right there, like, he, they forced him high, but they were focusing on Steve there. And then just hit him again, force him high, now we can bully Steve. I think that was a good, I think that's a good adaptation on their part. Oh, he was holding in, trying to get to the center stage, and he walks right into the Nikita. It's a very early stock comparatively for Dre. That's mm -hmm. not what he wants. This is a really good game right here. There's just a lot of hits trading right here in the mid part. Matt's not killing that early. That would have been too early. Yeah, like 20? That'd be busted. Dre's solo set up nine. Uh, <laughs> Dre's kind of having his fun in the corner here. Our dog finishes his food, but uh, all it did was kind of delayed inevitable. Gets the down air. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that? I'm playing Dre. Oh boy. Let's give it your best. Yes, sir. This is kind of still anyone's game, but like Blue needs to close this out convincingly. They need like a big play to finish off one person and like a 2v1 if they want that momentum. Because trying to scrap here this close to the end is not working. This is not a good spot. Oh, we, can he punish Blue it? Nope, it. the fireball stops the punish. 
Yeah, Blue didn't take full advantage of that right there. Well, took advantage of Dre's landing there, though. Spot finally takes that stock. So this is the 2v1. But, weapon in the corner. What's he gonna do? Dash attacks immediately. Ooh, bad DI! This is scary, because this is snake disadvantage. And our dog is swinging. Perfect tomahawk up tilt. Right after the grab, after you're thinking I'm, I was swinging, 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 do the slight delay option. That was the perfect place to do that up tilt. Game five. That that was a little closer win than I think they wanted, though. This that, is but still, that's all they needed. That little momentum shift. Yep. Shift. A play like that shows, like, okay, I've still, like, I'm even this deep into the set, I'm still aware of what I'm doing. It, I'm not autopiloting, I'm not doing the things, I'm still aware of when to mix up and what to condition. So, Blue's not out, they are, they're scrapping for this, and it's not, it's not as easy as they'd want it to be, but they've shown they've got it. They've found their way in, let's see if they can close out the reverse 3-0. Alright. Blue's setting up their shop. Spot getting plenty of resources. No one's really started their combos yet. Wow. Oh. Catching the person falling out of the Steve combo with the Nair. So Blue was able to kind of get some stuff started. But Hard Hog once again finding himself the person being hurt the most. Hard Hog's probably like, that's okay, I'm a heavy. Wow, Spot putting in the work, racking up damage this this first thought. Definitely. Up in shield looking a little low. Ooh, Ooh down smashing his teammate. I thought that was really good. Wow, they really need to put some damage on Spot right now. Yep, Spot has kind of just been running him. Charge shot taking out the Ardock stock, but Spot's still kind of king. Footstool gets himself out of there, builds himself a nice little hut, gets safe. Our dog hasn't been hit yet. So right now, Blue's kind of doing well. Alright, get the combo starter. Oh, he goes in and just immediately runs away to try to save his teammate. But, weapon dropped the punish on that up smash super hard. Wow, did you, did you see how much he got off that fireball? Yep. That's the thing about Snake in this matchup. Like, Mario can get all the damage he wants. Cover your teammate. Oh, oh catch him there. Just do another one. Spot, try to get a grab in too. Back throw. Both these teams showing us why they deserve to be here in Grand Finals. Absolutely. It's like one stock, you, you take one of mine, I'll take one of yours. They're still playing like really well around each other's awareness, like getting the right stuff. But all oh, right now, Arduck didn't do it, couldn't do anything to save him from the combo. He had to be wary of weapon, especially at his percent. So at this moment, like that's the awkward thing here is like they're doing a thing where they're putting spot and disadvantage mm -hmm. while Arduck is hurt, and so they go, yeah, try to save your teammate. You might die for it. Great pickup off that Nair. These up smashes, they just keep landing. They've got them in the sky for like forever. The oh, spike! Oh, that's not... Oh, follow back up. Just, yo, how about you go with them? <laughs> you know, honestly, I think that was going to... I think that first stock was the, the thing that was going to shift the change, of the momentum of the match, but then... And then Dre's like, nah, we're yeah. keeping it run. Yeah, they are still living. These guys are not losing these stocks. Yeah, the block right there is not working out in a spot's favor. Try to get a cape out. Might expect like a low mine cart, but nope, he's going high with it. Spot's got like full resources too. He's got an extra diamond. He's got tons of iron. Whoa. Did you see how the, the charge shot also worked with the grab? Yep. It's a good call. Oh, he overcommits with that up smash. Not landing its mark. Got his diamond out. I'm sorry, but Red was doing a really good job that that whole stock sequence. Oh, definitely. They were holding on to that life. Oh, this is scary. This is... This is 2v1. Scary. And he's got full tools, too. He's got diamond. He's got iron. Our dog's not too hurt. So they can take the time to zone. Spot can get all the tools he needs. They, they gotta play it safe. They uh, not rush him. As you're saying, play it safe. He goes really committal with that fair. But that back air, catching the jump, that's it. They oh. earned that reverse 3-0. So close, man. Mm-hmm.